In this example, we are going to determine the intervals on which the function is concave upwards, the function concave downward, and then locate the points of inflection. Recall to determine the interval of concave upward downward, we determine with the sign of the second derivative. If the second derivative is greater than zero, concave upward, the second derivative less than zero, concave downward, and point of inflection where the sign switch from positive to negative or negative to positive of the second derivative. For the example A, the function f of x equals x to the fourth minus 18 x squared. We're going to find the second derivative. But before we get the second derivative, we have to get the first derivative, which is 4 x to the third minus 18 times 2x or 4x to the third minus 36x and then find the second derivative, which is 4 times 3x squared minus 36 or 12x squared minus 36. This way we're going to move on to find the hypercritical point. from using the second derivative and let it be zero and so for x we have 12 x squared minus 36 equals zero factor 12 out so we have 12 times x squared minus 3 equals zero factor completely we have x minus square root 3 x plus square root 3 equals zero we got two numbers x equals square root 3 and x equals negative square root 3 just use the real number line and verify the size of the second derivative. From the most factorial form of f double prime, the number 12 multiplied by the quantity x minus square root 3 times x plus square root 3. The sign of the second derivative for the interval from negative from square root three to infinity, we can use the number or um think of anything that's greater than square root three. For example, the value two. If you do the value two, let's see if x is greater than square root three. The number two plug in there is going to be positive inside, positive inside. So then the final product is positive. If x is between negative square root three and square root three, for example, zero, we got the negative side for the first product and the positive side for the second product. We're going to get the overall negative inside for the second derivative. And then for x is less than negative square root 3, for example, negative 2. So we have negative psi, negative psi here, overall going to be positive inside for the second derivative. The second derivative positive, concave up, happy, not happy, happy. The up means um, concave upward and then the upside down here is concave downward and so forth. So we're going to uh, make a list as different color. So send the side positive, so concave up over here, and this is concave down, and this is concave up. For the second part, we're going to locate the point of inflection since the size switch from positive to negative or vice versa. So both negative square root 3 and square root 3 are point of inflection.